Here we have the outside of the Coachman VIP 675. As we move along, we will firstly see the front wind down point for the corner steady. Above that we then have the flue for the Aldi boiler. We do not need to do anything with these particular flues, just make sure that nothing is obstructing it. We then have water into the van at this point here. To remove the submersible, just slide up and then remove. When plugging back in again, slide back down, lock into place to avoid this popping out once it goes under pressure. We then have the location of the leisure battery just here and mains hook up here. Behind this we do have external TV and satellite points. As we move along to the rear of the caravan, we then have the two grey water drain points just here. So, waste master just underneath the caravan here, and then attach your convoluted pipe. Next we have the location for the Dometic toilet. So up the top here we have the header tank fill, so we can top it pop in our pink solution and then top the rest up with water either using a watering can or a hose and then beneath that we have the Dometic cassette itself so before use remove the cap and add your toilet chemical it also empties from here just remember that when you are pouring it away, we hold this button in just here to release the vacuum inside. These are all now on wheels with extendable handles. It is also a very good idea to keep this seal well lubricated. I always suggest any silicon based lubricant is absolutely fine and we can also twist this as well so we can actually gain access to the cassette for more additional cleaning. If we now come round to the rear of the caravan we can see the wind point for the rear corner steadies and then as we come round to the other side we have access underneath the bed and then beneath we have the location for the spare wheel Fridge vents just here, just again make sure nothing's obstructing them. Do not spray a shed load of water at them when washing the caravan. Weight plate just here. Also on the weight plate you will find the tyre pressures, the wheel nut torque settings and the tyre sizes. Then at the front we have external mains socket and the external barbecue point if you are going to use this you need the barbecue adapter which is about this long attach the hose of the barbecue to it with a jubilee clip and then the other end will pop in where my finger is just here once it's locked into place you'll then be able to turn the gas on to remove it again just push on the collar push it up and it will then pop back out again As we now come to the front of the caravan, we have the gas locker just here. There is room in here for two bottles. And we have the regulator just here. And then the hose comes off the regulator 
to the bottle. Please make sure that the bottle is off for travel. In here we have the bottle jack and the corner steady winding handle. 